Discover the exquisite beauty of Islam with our exclusive poster collection showcasing the 99 names of Allah. Each poster meticulously presents the Arabic name, pronunciation and English translation, embodying the essence of our Creator. Elevate your surroundings with these high-quality designs that not only serve as art, but also offer a glimpse into the profound beauty of Islamic culture. Immerse yourself in the collection and unveil the magnificence of the 99 names. Links in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it has been a while since I did a sit-down video. The reason being, you guys wanted me to talk about nutrition, specifically about nutrition during Ramadan. I will be training during Ramadan, inshallah. However, I will reduce the frequency, of course. This will be a time where I work more on technique and maintenance. The main focus will be, of course, to draw closer to God. This is what Ramadan is truly about. It is not about improving in this dunya, in the physical, but improving spiritually, of course. However, when it comes down to nutrition, I want to talk to people that do not have much of a background when it comes down to sport nutrition. They're not really working out. However, they want to use the opportunity of Ramadan to actually get into shape. Guys, when you're fasting throughout the day, this requires so much discipline. You really have to understand that most Muslims are just regular normal people. But most regular normal non-Muslims do not have the discipline to actually fast all day through. Of course, nowadays we have the trend of intermittent fasting, people not eating for 16 hours, sleeping 8 hours, and then not eating for 8 hours. However, when it comes down to Ramadan, we are not eating throughout the day, and moreover, we are not drinking any water whatsoever. So this takes a humongous amount of discipline. However, all of this discipline is chucked in the bin ultimately once iftar comes about. People break their fast, and they eat all kinds of calorically dense, nutritionally depleted foods. And so therefore many Muslims actually end up gaining weight during Ramadan. And that is such a shame because as I said, you're already so disciplined throughout the day. All you have to do now is take that discipline and extend it throughout your eating window. That's all you have to do. Now you only have to choose wisely. That's it. Instead of eating kebabs and all kinds of oily food, simply eat a nutritious meal. And a nutritious meal doesn't have to be bland and boring. I know nowadays everybody is brainwashed into thinking, oh, salads must be healthy. No, what is truly healthy for the human body is, of course, nutritionally dense animal foods. So therefore, your first meal after breaking the fast could be a steak with potatoes, a steak with rice, an egg omelette, steak tartare, sushi, sashimi. Simply nutritionally dense animal foods. And guess what? Once you sit down and you actually eat that food, you will feel fantastic, especially throughout the next day when you're fasting again. If you break your fast with donuts and croissants and hamburgers and whatnot, you're going to experience a crash. And the next day you feel even hungrier than before. Probably you're going to experience indigestion as well. As long as your meal contains a lot of protein, you're going to feel much more satiated because we actually have receptor sites within our guts that recognize that our meal had an abundance of protein. This is because, yet again, humans are created to eat meat after all. Please track your protein intake during Ramadan. If you weigh, for example, 80 kilograms, you should eat at least 160 grams of protein. So this is 2 grams per body weight kilogram. Focus on the protein first and foremost. Get in the healthy fats. Healthy fats, no, again, contrary to popular belief, is not an avocado. Healthy fats are egg yolks, butter, ghee, fish oil. Again, all of those animal foods, because fat-soluble vitamins are called fat-soluble vitamins for a reason, they're found in fat, in animal fat. This is where the vitamins are stored, and this is why those foods are so nutritionally dense. When you're eating a good quantity of protein, 
paired with micronutrients, you experience much less hunger. After the meal, you feel satiated and happy. If you eat a croissant, as I said, then you can eat another one, and a donut, and a cake, and a baklava, and it simply never ends. You're not going to be satisfied. So my point of this whole story is to keep it short and sweet. The discipline that you have acquired during Ramadan, the discipline that you truly have during the day, simply extend it. Be happy, be glad. Now you can eat. It is over. Iftar came around. But now you don't have to break it with junk food. Especially if we look into the time of the Prophet. What did he eat during Ramadan? I already made a video on this called the Prophet Diet. And we know that Prophet Muhammad wasalam, was eating very humble. He broke his fast with dates. And other foods that he would eat would be honey, milk, other fruits, some meat, etc., etc., you name it. Whole foods, ultimately. So during his time, we didn't have this processed junk food. And I know, yet again, I'm not here to give you a fatwa. If it is halal, technically, yes, I know, it is halal. There is halal McDonald's and Burger King in certain countries. But is it something that was accessible during the time of the Prophet wasallam? Of course, it was not. During these times, people ate whole foods. And whole foods nowadays is a label, but back then it was just normal food. There was no processed food, and therefore, by default, every food would be whole, would be as God created it ultimately. Anything that is found within its natural form is, of course, good for you, is, of course, healthy for you. Anyways, this is it for today's video. Just a quick one. Let me know in the comment section if you have any other specific questions about nutrition and I will get into it. Today's video is just a quick summary about nutrition and moreover, inshallah, a motivation for you, of course, to realize that you have so much discipline, so much discipline throughout the day. Please take the discipline with you when you break your fast. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box to further support my work. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. <laughs> Oh